So, tennis. When I first heard of this sport, I was like, boy, I need to do that like right now. And my parents wanted me to do tennis as much as I did, because what if I can actually become a professional tennis player? Wouldn't that be great? Before getting my first tennis racket and actually starting playing, my family and I would always watch tennis games afternoon, which I actually kinda enjoyed. Even though I'm not a fan of all those soccer and other sports games on TV. When I finally got my first rocket, my parents signed me up to a tennis school. My coach was a good tennis player, which was a good thing, because as we all know, there are some teachers that just like to sit around and do nothing all day, and be like, are you guys running? Cause I'm watching you, and I'm not gonna do this myself and show you how, because I'm too lazy to do that, okay? I wasn't doing my lessons alone, there was also a group of kids, there not many, probably like 10 or something, but even that was kinda a lot for such an introverted person like me. In my mind I was all like, yay, I finally get to play tennis for real, but does this mean I have to interact with these guys? Hey new girl, huh? You sure you can keep up with us? Cause like, we're super good and... You are like a new new person and stuff, so you will have to work really hard to be able to be at our level. Are you getting what I'm saying? The only thing is that they didn't know that I'm actually good at tennis even though I just came here. Because me and my dad will often go after school to a tennis court and train there. So I was really confident about that because I actually knew how to play. When the class started and we went doing all the simple tennis stuff like bouncing the ball on the racket, I saw them failing and realized that I'm the only person who does everything right. I was like... Ha! So who's a noob here now, huh? So there was really nothing super interesting about tennis lessons, so let's get to the part when everything goes downhill and turns into some crazy disaster. There was that guy that nobody liked, I don't really remember why, I think it's because he was just a jerk, I don't know. And one day people started calling each other names, just for fun, like they weren't bad. They were something like, oh, you're a sharp eagle and I'm a fast panther. But the person who got called bad names, like slow snail and stuff, was the jerk guy. I don't know where the coach was at this point. Oh, gotta get all these new skins in Fortnite, baby. It was something like that. And then they turned to me and said, hey, go call him a blind bird or something. And me, being a biggie dumb dumb 9 year old, I thought that that was okay to do and I was wrong because he got so pissed off that for some reason he decided to spill all his anger on me. And the last thing I saw was the tennis racket coming right at my face. At that moment I thought, this is the end. I tried to use my ninja skills and get down as fast as I could, but his racket still caught by my lip and within two seconds i was bleeding all over the place which was disgusting i ran to my coach and he was all like i don't care person he just told me to go and wash my face but i forgot to mention that most of the time my dad will sit in the audience room and watch me play or he will just go home because he gets bored and so because that happened Right at the end of the class, he was already coming back, and he saw me running around back and forth. I don't even know what he thought at this point. Sometimes I just feel like I should have stayed home. Forever. And yeah, the other stuff doesn't really matter, cause after all, it was all messed up, the guy got yelled at by his parents, police, and my dad maybe and i don't really remember myself getting in trouble but anyways so what did we learn today 